is fear of losing wreaking havoc on your trading. Wild traders, you're definitely not alone. Let's talk more about it. Hey guys, this is Taylor with The Trader's Brain, and today we're talking about fear of losing and how that can impact our trading and what can we do about it. Now, before we jump into it, please remember like and subscribe and even share this video out. There might be other traders who need this and need to hear this message today. And also remember that the first Monday of every month, we have Mindset Mondays. You can find the link below and would love to have you there. In fact, the last Mindset Mondays we had this past week was about this very topic. A trader came with this question about this fear of loss and how that is actually impacting their trading. And this is a big question for a lot of traders. In fact, um, I see this out on Reddit and other boards and Discord channels. This question comes up a lot with traders. There are traders who have a fear of losing and that creates either they take trades that they shouldn't be taking or more commonly, they're not taking trades. They tend to be under traders or they're moving stop losses or take profit in a way where they're not maximizing or following their process. And so, you know, what do we do about this? Well, there's lots of advice that's out there. And unfortunately, it's not all necessarily positive advice. I can tell you from a, from a mindset coach perspective that the number one piece of advice that I hear over and over again, when a, when a trader asks this question, I have this fear of loss, how do I solve it? The most common answer is just simply size down. And that unfortunately is not a solution to this particular problem. In fact, I've worked with traders in the past who have this challenge of taking trades or moving stops or moving their take profit, this fear of loss that's affecting them on SIM, on a demo account where there's not even any money involved. How does that happen? Well, it happens because the fear of loss isn't being driven from the fear of losing money. It's not a fear of loss of losing money. There's something else going on. And for a lot of us, it has more to do with what that loss means. It might be a string of losers. It might be, you know, feeling feelings of failure that we have, right? That this loss tends to fuel or feed. And so there's there's usually bigger things happening here. And so when you're when you're struggling with a fear of loss, sizing down may not actually be the answer for you, because there might actually be other reasons as to why you're feeling that fear of loss besides losing the actual money involved. So what are you supposed to do? How do you solve this problem? Well, you know, there's a, there's a lot of different strategies and a lot of different approaches, but I'm going to give you a couple of ideas. So the first thing that needs to happen is you have to recognize the fear when it's happening. And, and this takes training. This is a mindset skill set that requires us to work on and, and become really proficient at because a lot of times we're not really good at recognizing either our feelings in the moment or what's more important is recognizing our thoughts in the moment, okay? So as an example, if you're feeling fear and a fear of loss, you're gonna take certain actions or not take certain actions. Well, in that moment, we need to recognize that we're feeling that fear, and then we need to understand and recognize what is the thought that is creating that fear for us. Now, if you've done any work with me, you know that one of the things that I coach or teach about is this, um, I call it the paradigm, and it is a framework for understanding what we're thinking and how those thoughts impact ultimately our actions and get us the results that we're getting. So. Your circumstance is not what's creating your feeling of loss for you. So whether the market moves up or down and whether or not you're in a position and the market's moving against you or for you is completely irrelevant. That is a neutral thing that's happening. You have no control over the market and the movement of the market. Okay, so that's that's a neutral circumstance. So let's say that you're in a trade and it starts to go in your favor and then all of a sudden it starts to reverse back to your entry. And, and then you start to feel this fear of loss. And so you move your stop loss up to break even. 
And of course, we know what's going to happen. It's going to come back to break even, take you out, and then turn and actually go your way, right? This happens a gazillion times over and over again. Well, that movement back from the market is not what's creating your fear of loss. There's a thought in between that, that circumstance that's happening and your fear. What is that thought? If you can pinpoint that thought on a regular basis, what is it that's fueling this fear of loss for me? Then you've won half the battle. It, you're creating awareness around what you're thinking in a given moment that's producing a specific emotion. Because it's through our emotions and because of our emotions that we actually take action. The reason you move your stop loss is because you're feeling fear. You take that action, okay? So we're looking at the domino effect. What's the thought? The thought's gonna create the fear and the fear's gonna cause the action. And of course, our result is gonna be we end up not following our process. We end up not becoming consistently successful, okay? So strategy number one is at least step number one within an overall strategy here is to recognize and become aware of the thoughts that are creating the fear of loss. And it could be, you know, I've, I've had three winners and I don't want to give up any profits or um, this trade might move against me and I can't afford another loss. My, you know, my spouse is going to be, you know, upset if I, you know, if I take this loss, it, it, it could be all kinds of things running through your head just pinpoint it. In fact, if you could do this for the next week, just pinpoint what your thought is that's creating that and write it down. Have a journal next to you. Write down, at this time, you know, I was in a trade. I wanted to move my stop loss to break even. I was, I was feeling fear. And this is the thought that I was feeling or that I was thinking at the time. Become more aware by writing those thoughts down. So that's step number one. Step number two is once you have that, once you have like several instances of where this fear of loss is coming up for you and you can kind of pinpoint, okay, this is what I'm thinking. This is creating this fear. Um, I didn't take these trades because I had a fear of loss and this is what I was thinking and that's why I didn't take the trades. You've got kind of a few different thoughts that are repeating thoughts for you that now you can look at and say, okay, well, I wanna take different actions here. So if price is moving against me and I'm in a trade, I want to be able to just leave my stop loss where it is according to my process and let the trade just do what it needs to do. So what do I need to feel in order to do that? And what do I need to think in order to produce that feeling? You might want a feeling of curiosity, like, huh, I wonder if this trade is going to work out. I'm feeling curious. I want to feel curious about whether or not my process is going to is going to work out. You might want to feel a conviction like I am I'm only going to follow my process this week. You might want to feel confident like if I follow my process I'm going to become a consistently successful trader, right? You get what I'm saying, which is that you want to come up with alternate thoughts in these different scenarios that you practice. So, so that when you're in the moment, you can look down in your journal and see, okay, hey, I have a process trade that's triggered. And instead of thinking this might be a losing trade, I'm going to think I want to follow my process today 100%, right? And so now you're armed with an alternate, alternative thought that's going to produce a different feeling for you that's going to result in a different action. So think, feel, act. That's the way and the path forward to get out of this, this, these feelings of loss that you're having. It's going to take time. It's going to take work like anything related to mindset. This is a skill that you need to develop. The first step is awareness, awareness about what you're feeling. And when you're feeling that sense, that feeling of loss, a fear of loss and, and what you're thinking about at that time, and then you can work on actually changing your thoughts changing your feelings, which will produce a change in the actions that you're taking. That is the solution. It's not necessarily to size down. It is to work on your mindset because frankly, guys, this is a mindset challenge. So let's apply a mindset principle to it. All right, that's it for today. Remember, like and subscribe and share this out. There might be other traders that need to hear this uh, whether on Reddit or Discord or wherever you're at, 
And remember, come to Mindset Mondays. It's a it's free coaching. You can come and ask questions like this and get high level coaching and really progress and learn new skills around mindset. That's what it's there for. Until next time, happy trading.